Welcome to Math with Professor V. That's right, you got a bonus integral of the day today. We're doing improper integrals in my Calculus 2 class, and this was also requested by my lovely students. So here we go. Integral from 0 to infinity of 36 times 1 plus tan inverse of x over 1 plus x squared dx. Pause the video if you want to try it on your own first, and I'm going to jump right in. First thing we need to do with this improper integral, replace this upper limit with some dummy variable. Let's just stick with t. Usually we replace infinities with t's, and then if the, there's a constant that makes the integral uh, improper, we'll replace it with a or something like that. Okay, so let's rewrite this as limit. t goes to infinity, integral 0 to t, 36 times 1 plus tan inverse of x over 1 plus x squared dx. All right, from here we need to actually just evaluate the integral. Sorry, that's crooked, I don't like it. And I saw a lot of students were splitting this up into two, but then you're creating double the work. We can just go in with the u sub and in one fell swoop, handle business. I'm gonna let u be one plus tan inverse of x. That's right, throw that constant in there. Then du would be what? Derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of tan inverse of x is 1 over 1 plus x squared dx. And look at that. There's my du sitting pretty, hanging out over there. I love it. We do need to also change those limits of integration, though. Absolutely. They currently belong to the variable of the integral, which is x. So 0 and t get substituted in for x right there. So u of 0 is 1 plus tan inverse of 0. 10 inverse of 0 is 0, so my new lower limit's going to be 1. And then u of t is 1 plus 10 inverse of t. And you're just going to leave it like that, okay? Don't do anything wild. Don't already take the limit and make this pi over 2. I saw some people do that. No, no. See how the limit's on the very outside? That means we deal with it last. That we're going to evaluate at the very end. Not yet. So what do we got? Limit t goes to infinity, integral from 1 to 1 plus tan inverse of t. 36 is just hanging out, minding its business. 1 plus tan inverse of x, that's my u. And then the rest in that yellow little kidney bean is du. Doesn't it look like a kidney bean just a wee bit? I say that in my u sub video when I first teach it. I always say, draw your kidney bean. Okay, now... Oh, this is just the most relaxing integral I have seen in a while. Antiderivative of 36u, 18u squared. Yeah? Good. And we evaluate that from 1 to 1 plus 10 inverse of t. Okay. So far so good. Is everyone all right over there? Now, this 18, you, oh, why did I erase it? It doesn't need to be included when we evaluate upper limit, lower limit. Get in the habit. If you've got a constant, stay out there constant, right? I'll multiply by you at the end. I don't need 18 stressing me out while I work through the rest of the computation. Limit t goes to infinity 18 times 1 plus 10 inverse of t squared minus 1 squared. Okay, now we need to take this limit. As t approaches infinity, 1 is just a constant. What about tan inverse of t? So this is just coming down to, do you remember the graph of tan inverse? Yes. I, you know, recommend you make a list of all of these famous graphs that you just need to have put to memory. Tan inverse of x, e to the x, ln of x, 1 over x, so many, right? Just, you can go through the pre-calc playlist. It has horizontal asymptotes at pi over 2, negative pi over 2. Boom, 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 boom. This is tan inverse, not tangent. But it comes up in so many limit problems, right? Especially in calculus, because the antiderivative we evaluate often. Here we go. All right, so hopefully you're imagining that. Or you can just draw it on your paper. So as t approaches infinity, where's tan inverse of t going? Brrr, pi over 2. Boom, that's pi over 2. So now notice I'm not going to write lim anymore because I've evaluated the limit. I've got 18 times 1 plus pi over 2 squared minus 1 squared. 
Ooh, love it. And then, that's right, 18 times, foil it out, 1 plus pi plus pi squared over 4 minus 1. These ones cancel. And then I can factor a pi out. So then I have 18 pi times 1 plus pi over 4. I'd leave it like that. And what do I care about this limit? Not so much what the value of it is, but just that this limit exists as a finite number. So this integral is also convergent. Okay, good. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know how you solved it in the comments down below. I'll link all the video lectures I have on improper integrals in the description as well if that's a topic you happen to be studying and need a little bit more practice on. Because I think it's tricky, you're bringing back all your limit concepts from Calc 1 while you're doing more difficult integration that you're learning in Calc 2. So this is one of the more difficult sections that comes up in this unit for sure. So just keep practicing, stay meticulous with the notation and you'll be successful. That's it for now. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be back sooner than later with more videos. Love you all so much, bye.